So here we are at the back of the camper. Here's your access panel for the refrigerator. Very nice. You come over here and there was nothing, no way to get to it. $12 at the Marine RV Center. You might have seen these in the back of your boat, whatever. A little panel comes out, $12. Five inch hole. The top of this lid right there is five inches. So I came outside, there's my little pilot hole I drilled. I traced this onto the camper and I cut a hole in here. And if you come and look, there is the little sail switch. Two little screws come out. You pop off the wires and put your new one on. Shazam! A MacGyver moment. Thank you, my wife, Claire, because she watches MacGyver. There it is. This is what it is. About $40 for this in the switch. Now, how did I cut a hole? You could use a five inch hole cutter. I don't have one, or you could buy one for about $45. I simply drilled a series of holes with a quarter inch bit, used my skill saw, cut the hole out with a skill saw carefully, paying attention. You want someone inside the camper to make sure that you are not drilling too far. So you might need to mark your drill bit when you're drilling through the camper so you don't hit anything inside. Also, you'll notice here, there's a little bit of a, of a uh, aluminum strip with rubber on top. So when you put your this back on, it will hit that and won't go flush. I used a little Dremel cutting disc, not the brown one, but the heavier duty big black one, and zipped right through that and took that little piece off. Therefore, this will go right on. Drill your holes, and there is your access to the sail switch. Nothing to it, only took a few minutes, and I'm sure I saved a couple hundred dollars in labor. Best wishes from Claire and John from Idaho. Have a good new year. Now you know.